So we at the uh, research and development team here at Carl Strauss have long since thought that uh, we could infuse uh, beer into music. We've used lots of different ingredients in our beers over the years. And uh, as, a, as a musician myself, uh, I've wondered for, for quite some time how it could be done. And so the research and development team here at Carl Strauss has joined Intellects with our friends at 91X. And we think we've devised a contraption, an apparatus that uh, will allow us, in fact, to infuse beer into music. Um, we've long since held the belief that if you take uh, German umpa music, for instance, and infuse it into uh, traditional German lagers, that you end up with a more authentic uh, traditional German lager. Beer itself is, uh, is a fermented beverage, and as such, uh, we need the help of uh, beer yeast, uh, specifically known as Saccharomyces cerevisiae, in the fermentation process in beer. Yeast is a living organism. It's a single-celled, microscopic living organism that consumes the sugars in beer and, and produces alcohol. But it also produces other things like esters and, uh, you know, produces certain agents that could create feelings of well-being and buoyancy uh, and jovial feelings when consumed. Uh, so we've noticed that if we can keep the yeast happy, the Saccharomyces cerevisiae during the fermentation process by infusing music during the production process of the beer, then the yeast itself will produce esters and lots of other um, components that will create good feelings in people when the beer is organoleptically consumed or absorbed into the human body. And so that, uh, that has, has led to the creation of a mechanism and with this device, we, uh, we are fairly confident that we can produce these feelings in human beings after they consume the beer. Uh, we will, of course, put these uh, theories to test this weekend at the Beer, beer X event happening at Liberty Station. And we hope you all enjoy the feelings you get when you consume this beer. Cheers. <laughs>